bridge, but it's the first time I've seen you in a couple of months. There's a lot of people scratching their heads over this whole Representative Beck thing. I mean, you asked him to resign or step down. A few weeks later, you placed him on another committee. I think he still has his chairmanship. How does that all jive? What's your thinking on Well, it's up to him. He was elected, uh, I believe, three times, two anyway, and uh, he's done a great job as chairman of Ways and Means. Uh, I don't know the validity of these charges. Uh, I know that he is, he's obviously disputing them. Uh, everybody gets uh, lawyered up when they have a challenge, but he did retain Taft, Statinius, and Hollister. I don't think he's uh, exactly... Uh, he, he has a very difficult challenge, and just, let me just say as a former judge, I don't know what you do about it. The person who was in charge of the operation that he was serving as CPA, that person's dead. The, in addition to that, uh, he has some people who are very upset. Uh, and you run into this uh, in litigation. We're told what they should have been told. By the time you put all that stuff together, I would certainly not uh, suggest that uh, it was anything like the other two individuals that we've lost in this session where it was pretty clear that those circumstances were very clearly uh, criminal in nature. And uh, there's no such feeling here. Uh, Obviously, he faces one of the most capable prosecutors in the state of Ohio. Um, it, I, I'm certainly not willing to draw a conclusion uh, before a jury does. Did you ask him to resign too soon? Oh, no, no. I don't think I really asked him to resign. I suggested that he should consider that in view of his family. And in, these are horrible things to go through. He, he's done nothing that I know of that ought to cause him to put up with uh, six, eight months of preparation for trial, retention of counsel, all these other things. He might be better off to, that was what I was suggesting, as an old judge. Have you thought he could focus on fighting these charges? I made that offer to him, yes. And uh, he has one very important bill in his committee. Working very hard on uh, House Bill 5, and he spent a lot of time on, on it already. And uh, again, I, as I say, uh, it, it, these are tough things for a leader. Uh, he tells me that there's not a problem. Uh, he obviously, as a CPA, is a professional person, and uh, he tried to be understanding of difficulties that people have within the caucus. Obviously, this is not anything that we can do anything about. This is not a, a complaint in front of the Ethics Committee of the House, uh, pardon me, of the uh, Assembly. So, uh, I don't think that there, it, it's quite different uh, with uh, other people who have done things that are clearly criminal. Uh, and uh, I did not uh, demand that it was up to the Democrat leadership, as far as I was concerned, they had a member who was the ranking member of the education committee, and uh, it was their call uh, not to ask him to step down from that. So these things are very hard, and the complexity of what uh, members get into is often uh, difficult uh, for us to evaluate. Difficult. And we sent 12 people down to the prosecuting attorney for further proceedings, and uh, all 12 uh, were found uh, to be guilty of uh, ethical problems. Um, and that was very tough. Uh, one of them was Speaker, one of them was President of the Senate. So I'm certainly not anybody to back off of these things, but this was not in front of us in any way. And, uh, Therefore, I am reluctant to draw any kind of conclusions about what's going on. I just don't know. And frankly, it's not my responsibility to enter into hearings or an investigation or anything like that. That's up to the prosecuting attorney in Hamilton County.